for Halloween in preparation for the Halloween party. Yay! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about the Sullies and um, their, uh, well, Ben. Ben, he's promised me a shout out and I can't friggin' wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. I love it when um, when they did the backed into a corner. But more importantly, though, they have done fantastically well. They've reached their two thousand pound total goal on the Cash for Kids charity drive through no help of their own, obviously. You know. But anyway, we'll get onto that in a second. For the month of October only, we have the Halloween merch line over at the merch store. Um, the cutest raccoon ghost on the internet. If you want yours today in a line of hoodies, t-shirts, notepads, all sorts of things, go over to the merch store today. Link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get back onto the video. Thank you. So it is nice to be appreciated in the world, you know, it's nice to know that people appreciate you and, um, you know, I'm Sullivan, Sullivan's biggest fan, obviously, so um, I I appreciate it when they notice me and they, they notice me on a quite frequent occasion, but Ben had this to say in his recent video. Possibly. Um, can I just say as well, thank you so much to everybody that has donated to, yeah, give me two seconds, bro, <laughs> two seconds. The latest donation was from a lady called Carrie Flanagan, and that has now allowed us to hit our target of £2,000. So we've hit £2,000 on Cash for Kids. And what I'm gonna do is, um, when we get to the end of the um, collection, so the collection finishes in December, I am gonna give everybody that's donated a huge, individual shout out because i think why well, it's lovely isn't it i mean um i can't wait for this one ben honestly i can't wait for those of you who don't know or indeed their fans who may not be aware back in february i did in fact donate myself 30 pounds um as i put here it's a genuine do donation for the good of the cause right um but yeah an individual shout out on their channel on their video and the reason why i'm bringing this to your attention is so that ben can't have an out so people are expecting it you know he's said now that he's going to do this and i'm making you aware that he has to be thanking me right i'm just saying that that's what i want I want people to know that this is what is going to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then you can call him out for it. And even some of them fans, they need to call him out for it if he doesn't. So I'm expecting a full thank you. And um, I'll be gracious with it, honestly. Love it, Ben. Love it. Just, I just think it's amazing that people... I know, it's great, darling, isn't it? I just think it's amazing that you've all helped us get to our second... That's amazing. You've all helped us get to our second goal. Our first goal was £1,000. We smashed that. Our second goal, we thought, right, well, let's see if we can get to £2,000. Because if we can get to £2,000, that's absolutely amazing. And Kerry now has allowed us to do that. So we've hit our second target of £2,000. So thank you very much for that donation. Every donation that we've had has helped us get to our goal of um, £2,000, which is absolutely amazing. So let's see how much we can get. I mean, if we can get more, let's get more. Because it just, the, honestly, MF3000 would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, how about we try and get get What about one million? What about, we try and get 5,000. Eric, oh, no, I, I, I think realistically, if we could get to maybe, I don't know, 2,500 2, would be great, wouldn't it, by, by December, but. You know what, what, what would help Ben to reach that goal is if you actually put your accumulated total that you've earned from these charity videos and put them towards you know the um your your ultimate goal you know um if we count up the amount of views that you've made the amount of uh, money that you've made through these videos we can see just how much you should be donating 
Now, if we look at the very first video, the January challenge video, it received 10,000 views. I'm going to count up accumulatively how many views they've had month on month. Now, the next one was 9.7 thousand views. That's 19.7 in total. That was the part one of the Bake Off. There was actually a part two. So if we also look at the part two, we can see that uh, that received a further 10,000 views. So that equals 29.7 thousand views in total, accumulatively so far. And the next month received just 7.3 thousand views. Given as a running total of 37,000, the next month received 7.3 thousand again, which equals 44.3 thousand views in total. Then it is 7.8 thousand views, which equaled 52.1 thousand in total. The next month, uh, had 6.5 thousand which is 58.6 thousand in total and then it's 7.7 thousand .7, which is 66.3 thousand then it's 56 uh, 5.6 rather k which equals 71.9 and the final month is 5.1 thousand views given as a total running total of 77,000 views and the t so the total so far of all the vlogs that they have used to raise money out of cash for kids is six seventy seven thousand views and if we take a, an approximate guesstimate of around about five pounds per thousand views that they've made of it which is you know i can tell from my own statistics that that's probably approximately and um so that's 77,000 times by five, well, 77 times by five equals 385 pounds. That's how much they currently owe cash for kids. And they should be adding that on to the end. So they should easily reach that target then of um, two and a half thousand pounds, I would guess, by December. Should be no problem whatsoever. Except we know that Ben won't do that. But if we keep tabs on him to do that, then hopefully it will put pressure on to him to do it or make him look silly. Either way. Right. So there was one other thing that popped up recently that I wanted just to address because it annoyed me. And that was Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. It's like a whole another um, level with teenagers, isn't it? I think you um little ones you think oh when they get older it'll be easier it's not believe me it's not teenagers and older ones i think they bring more worry even though they're not really doing anything it's just more worry because i know what i was like at 18 and uh i know what situations i got myself into at 18 and um You kind of you can't shield them forever can you you can't um you have to let them you have to let them live their lives and you have to let them do the things that they want to do there's only so much you can kind of shield them from and then you know 18 19 20 they're they're or even 16 17 you know they're, they're kind of grown up aren't they 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 you have to kind of let them have their independence and um do all the things for themselves but I think that in itself is harder than any of it give me a bunch of toddlers any day because at least you can kind of protect them from everything can you when exactly does this protecting the toddlers start Zoe um, is it when you um, put them out there on the internet for the world to see Whereas is it when you when they get their bigger and the world to see? you know is it when you go out um, and do things for tell themselves everybody where they're um, going to be on a daily basis it's really hard. is it when you tell your, your toddlers to speak to strange men on the internet is it when you um tell people to pop by your house and have a word with your little toddlers and things like that is it when you pimp them out to the world is this when your protection of these toddlers begin is it you have absolutely no clue whatsoever do you zoe you're either thick 
stupid or ignorant or a mixture of the three. I'm not quite sure which. Um, it's a dangerous mixture in terms of protecting your kids. But I genuinely am worried uh, and confused about what you think you're doing. Because what you what you claim in there uh, that you're protecting your toddlers and not putting them in danger is just like it's mind blowing to me. Absolutely mind blowing. Yep. Anyway, um, there we go. That that was a little ditty from the 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 size yet again. They are. Go- oh, don't forget they're going to give me a shout out at the end of the year in December, which I for one am looking forward to because I like to be appreciated. Most people like to be appreciated for their own. You know, it gives me a boost. I guess right. Not trying to be um like not trying to toot my own horn or anything like that. Just like to be appreciated for the things that I do do, and um, I feel like I've done a lot for the Sullivans and um the their cumulative cumulative family. Yep, I think I've done quite a bit to help them, even if they don't wish to admit it. Anyway. Uh, if you have appreciated this video, please give it a massive thumbs up, comment all of your thoughts about it down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.